but I think it would be like extra cool, even though you got the controls pack, if you didn't have to use that hood. Yeah, I agree with you. And actually, you know what, Evan, we have taken care of that. You want to see? Really? Yep, yep. Let's take a look. Got another surprise for you. <laughs> okay. Well, this is something I didn't expect. And you brought it with you. Look at that. I you snuck it, it in the trunk. I didn't even see it. Yep, this is obviously a prototype. Oh, wow. But we do have a brand new intake. Look and at that. This, this is your parting gift just for showing up today. Really? Yep. We're going to let you dyno test this, uh, put it on an engine, and uh, see how it does. Well, ironically, I'm heading over to Brian's uh, in a little bit here, and we were going to do some stuff on the 7.3 that's going into Cyclone. And being that it takes all of about two minutes to swap an intake manifold, we can literally take this thing today and go dyno test you it? You can take it today and dyno test it, as long as you promise to return it. Well, I, I, can, I can definitely promise that. That is too cool. I really appreciate yep. that. So what are the features on this, uh, Mark? So really, the biggest features are it's designed to, um, it's really designed for street use, right? For uh, any regular application. Racing applications, you actually might be better off with one of the current, currently available aftermarket intakes. Right. But the biggest thing is, is that uh, over the stock one, it obviously lowers the uh, throttle inlet significantly. It yeah. allows for a much easier installation in most applications. Bring it around this side and let's take a look at the, uh, the angle of attack, if you will. Look how light it is. You can literally just, so this being straight versus that being up. And it's kind of hard to tell with the elbow on there, but literally this thing will come straight out here. So you can do a turn. Um, man, I did not expect that you would have this thing ready to go. Well, we figured if you were coming, we had to have something ready. So, uh, cause the first thing you've asked me is how do we put it in a, in a regular car without this horrible bulge on it? So. We've got right. this taken care of. This is actually uh, one of our final prototypes and uh, we're gonna be putting this in production very shortly. So we're here at Brian's, we made the pulls on the uh, stock intake manifold, which you see right here with the upswept throttle body, and we're getting ready to swap out the stock one for the Ford Performance prototype. What do you think, Brian? I'm anxious to see how it works. I was uh, pleased with the baseline pull. We're running the ultimate headers now, and which is more realistic of what someone would run on their car, because those headers fit in a Fox body Mustang. All right, and here you go. You saw it this morning come out of the trunk. We drove over to Brian's, we slapped this baby on, follow Brian in here. Like we showed you in our previous videos, it only takes a matter of minutes to swap the manifold because it's a dry intake. The O-rings are in place. All right, so here's a look at the Rapid Prototype 3D printed Ford Performance 7.3 Godzilla intake manifold. That's a mouthful. Clearly you can see the throttle body aims forward, so as to give you better hood clearance. Um, for more swappability, easier swappability, and Brian is simply bolting it on right now. Brian, what do you think of this thing? Yeah, I like it. I'm anxious to see uh, see how it does. Um, again, when you look at the manifold, it's very, very nice, compact. I think um, with that throttle body pointing forward the way it does, it's going to make it a lot easier to package under, you know, Fox bodies, new edges, fair lanes, cyclones, whatever you want to put it in. Um, so I'm expecting with the nice runners on this that it'll be, make some really good low uh, end and mid range compared to some of the other stuff we tested that were designed more for higher RPM. So it's going to be uh, really interesting to get the results here shortly. So this intake manifold like we covered with uh, Dave Bourne and with Mark Wilson when we were over at Ford Performance this morning. A little bit shorter runners that will promote a power band that's up a little bit over stock as far as RPM. And they're a little bit bigger than the truck manifold as far as volume. So flow more air. Again, the throttle body facing forward. And the reason this thing is kind of a whitish color is because it's a prototype. The factory ones, the production ones will be black. And the throttle body is also bigger. The throttle body opening on the other side. So again, more airflow. 
And as soon as Brian straps this thing on there, we will fire it up and make some pulls. guys so big day here at the dyno shop with brian wolf we got the ford performance 73 intake manifold the prototype and uh we did an a to b test against the stock manifold yep. and brian what were the results yeah no the results were really good kind of as we expected so again the nice thing about that manifold is it's really designed you know for that six ish thousand rpm 6200 pack uh, peak engine speeds and this was as you just know we did that big test with all the cams, all the intakes, lots of big power numbers at high RPM. But a lot of folks want something they can package under the hood of a Fox body or an old Mustang Fairlane, it doesn't really matter. And the cool thing about this is, not only did it not give up any torque versus stock, it actually improved peak torque throughout the RPM range and peak uh, increase was about 15 foot pounds. It also made about 10 horsepower more than the stock intake. So for something that's designed for a tire package, um, I was really impressed with the results and I think people are going to be really, really happy because a lot of people just said, hey, give me something that doesn't lose any torque and will package. And this actually picks up torque packages and picks up horsepower. And the curves are behind us. So you can see that the red line, the line above uh, is the Ford Performance intake with the Ford Performance throttle body versus the stock, which is in the line blue, which is a bit below other things. Right. So if you saw the video that we did on the 7.3 in the Mustang, which is taken off like wildfire with the big rhino hump on the hood. The first deal for Ford Performance was to solve that problem, was to make a manifold that actually fits in a car where you can have a normal hood or a hood at all on the car. And the fact that it adds horsepower is almost just like an added bonus, right? No, absolutely. Uh, and torque, you know, I might, you know, again, you know, most of the aftermarket intakes that we've tested to date have all, you know, looked really good for the higher end, looked good for package. Um, but, you know, there was that sacrifice of the low end torque uh, where this actually, you know, picks up a bit. I mean, over, you know, about 620 foot pounds, which <laughs> is, is, is a ton on pump gas, um, you know, in a street car. So I think folks are going to be real happy with it. Yep. It's got the straight in inlet so it doesn't kick up. It takes just a few minutes to bolt this thing on and you get the benefit of uh, extra torque and horsepower right in the meat of the curb, that good tip in power that everybody loves so much. So another cool test that we did here on the Rev and Evan channel, we love doing the dyno testing with Brian. It's real world. We see that A to B comparison, having a lot of fun. Plus who doesn't love hearing a, you know, a good V8 Ford screaming on the dyno. Don't forget to leave us a comment. We want to know what you guys think. Hit that like button. And Brian? Hey, as we always say, for that best content on the internet, hit the subscribe button, bitches.